Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Beachy for you. Today I'm going to take you through how to prepare the best honey beans ever. Um, so right now I have on the boil um, about two and a half cups of honey beans. I have sliced the medium um, size um, onion into it and um, I also added half a bouillon cube um, and then I'm going to set the the heat to medium heat and then i'll leave it to cook for about two hours medium heat and i'll leave it to cook for about two hours i want it to be perfectly soft if you have a pressure cooker at home then this will be much uh it will take much less time right however i'm i'm cooking the regular way and um so i'll be back in a little bit to show you how to prepare the best honey beans ever <laughs> So these are the ingredients, very easy, that I'm going to be using to make my, my, my prepare the honey beans. So this right here is the honey beans. Can you see that? This right here is the honey beans. Like I said, I totally love it. And this is palm oil made from palm. It is very, very nutritious, healthy for those of you who know the palm oil. And then I have the small and small medium onion. I have my um, scotch bonnet. Now for those of you who really, I, I take a lot of scotch bonnet, you'd have noticed that because I love spicy food. But if you cannot, if you know you cannot do spicy, you can actually work with the red bell peppers. Works just as well. So, but that's so that there you have it. I have my salt and I have my um, bouillon cube. Now, these are very simple ingredients. As we go along, we can spice it up a little bit. But for, for, for today, I just want to make the simplest and the sweetest ever honey beans with red palm oil. Here we are checking on the beans. It's cooking really nicely. And I'm, at this point, I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. That's just a little bit because like I said the last time, you need to be very, very careful with the um, your salt uh, when, you, when you cook beans because beans really cannot take too much salt. So um, I'm still going to leave it, but I'm going to top up the water because like I said, I'm going to leave it to cook for two hours, but I'm going to top up the water so that um, it can get soft and not get burnt. Be back in a bit so while the beans is still cooking now this is uh been here now for about an hour and uh 40 minutes i'm just gonna let it dry some more i'm gonna close it right back and then here i have my palm oil like i said highly nutritious now in the place of palm oil you should understand that you can actually use vegetable oil it doesn't make a difference i think what i'm going to do is at some point i'm also going to make a video where i'll use a vegetable oil now that can be really classy and interesting too and then we'll spice it up a little bit we'll, we will make it just as simple now this is my palm oil i'm not bleaching my palm oil so i'm just going to introduce my um onion don't mind me i love my onion in ringlets i've always loved it in ringlets i don't know what it is with me but I just love my onion in ringlet. So I'm going to introduce my onion. I don't want my oil bleached. Okay. So I'm going because this is beans. I need, I need it to be really wet when I am done. And then I'm also going to put in just a sprinkle, just sprinkle just a little bit of salt so that uh, my onion rings can come out really very tasty. That is also very key. Okay. My onion is frying. You see that? Don't forget that I said I did sprinkle a little bit of salt. Okay, that's very key. Now this is the texture that I'm gunning for. I need it to be really crisp, um, to be dry and uh, very dry, but not burnt and floating on the oil. I need it to be dry and floating on the oil. I don't want it sitting at the bottom of a pan. Okay. And yes, I have my my onion exactly the way I want it. Can you see that? It's all floating in the um, oil, not sitting at the bottom of the pan anymore. And then I'm now going to introduce my uh, blended scotch bonnet because what I did was to slice up one onion and I blended one. Like I said, I used small and a very small medium. So I blended one with the scotch bonnet. Don't forget, you can also use the bell peppers if you cannot do spicy. I love spicy. So I'm going to introduce my uh, uh, blended okay so there you go there you go all right and then i'm also going to introduce 
the boolean cube at this point. There you go. I'm just going to stir and allow it to cook. Okay, I'm going to stir and allow it to cook. Alright, so there you go. This is turning up rather nicely. Can you see that? It's frying. It's almost dry. Turning up really nice. And uh, the beans on the other hand is still here. Drying up really good too. I like that. I like the face of that. Okay, good. So there you go. See that? It looks kind of dark. Yep. So that's it. It's dry, but I want it to be drier. I need it to be dry. I need to, I need I need it to begin to float in the oil. I need it to float in the oil. Okay. Great. So here we are. It this is the exact uh, texture that I wanted. Can you see that? You can hardly separate the uh, there's no water. You can actually hardly separate the the, the fried um, scotch bonnet and onion from the oil. So, and you'll notice that it's a little bit dark in color. It has not retained its redness. Can you see that? It's a little bit dark in color. So, yeah, this is the perfect texture that I was gunning for. And my beans. Now, look at that. You see? Because it's a medium heat. I Oh, pardon me. I did change this to low heat at some point. So, you see, there really isn't too much water there. But this is perfect. So, now I am ready to go. Yes, yeah, so here we are. What I have done is to turn the the, the sauce that I made, the pepper sauce that I made, um, I've turned it into the beans now. And I'm going to turn the heat real low. I'm going to put it, you know, turn it to the to just before the minimum, to just a very low heat. And then I'm going to keep stirring. See, I'm stirring. I just want to stay in. Stirring. This is perfect. Already, I love the look of what I see. This is perfect. See that? The beans is well cooked. It's as soft as it can get, you know. Almost as soft as what you get if you had your baked beans. It's actually at that soft, not almost. Almost is the wrong word to use. It's actually as soft as that, and now I'm just stirring. I've turned the heat real down. I've turned it low, and um, I'm just going to let it simmer. Yes, and there we go. This has been simmering uh, for a while now and it is fully cooked. Can you see? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I feel like eating up everything right now. You see that? It is perfect. You see the consistency? It's not too thick. It's not too light. It's just perfect perfect remember what i said you can actually make this with vegetable oil as well if you do not have access to palm oil do not deprive yourself of the chance to eat the best cooked beans now i should let you know that friends and family actually do come to me for my beans recipe so this is one of the simplest to prepare with as little ingredients as you can come up with and yet the best best tasting beans that you can prepare in your home for your friends and families for parties this and that's it on today's edition of the vg for you thank you so very much for watching and for uh, for watching till the end and for joining us um i uh, don't uh, fail to like don't fail to subscribe and uh, hit on the notifications button so that you can see whenever we post a new video and you can share a comment now if you try this recipe please let me know how it how it resonates with you and if you have a you feel think <laughs> that you have a better recipe share it with me i'll try it and of course we'll find out which is better i'll still be showing you some of the tricks on how you can actually prepare the honey beans in the future thanks again and have a lovely day bye for now Thank you for watching to the end. Please don't fail to subscribe, like, and share. Bye for now.